I think weeks went by, months even before, even now, the reality of it not coming through the door. Our lives will never be the same. Not of her brothers or her sister. There's always a gap. It's always this most important person, never there. We planned the wedding to include Rachel, even though she wasn't there even though it was a really happy occasion, it couldn't be as happy, obviously. You know, if Rachel was there, it would have been perfect, but it wasn't. It was a respectful funeral, and uh, I think the emotion was right, and there was some great support from um, her old friends and love came through as well. The memories that I have are varied. They go from the very start of her life to um, throwing roses on her, you know, on her coffin. The last conversation I had with her, I could hear seagulls in the background. And then after she died, I kept seeing seagulls. When you've lost someone, things take on the significance. I feel like I haven't got that person there who knows me. Like, her parents came round for dinner. She would have loved to have been there, sitting out in the garden and drinking and talking. And when I went travelling, you know, we were meant to do that together. And so every place I went to, I wrote her name in the sand or I wrote her name in the soil or I carved a name on the Ponte Vecchio Bridge, you know, in Florence. I, I miss her very, very much. You know, she she can never be a mother now. Um, I can go on to be a mother, but I won't have Rachel there to be a part of that, and I won't be able to be a part of the child that she would bring into the world. And she would have been a wonderful mother if she'd had the opportunity. If I had one more day with Rachel... I would ask her why.